Hello MEP engineers, welcome to our YouTube channel. Now support us and press subscribe to see the coming videos. Today's video is about duct sizing. I recommend McQuay duct sizer. I think it is the easiest software to make duct sizing for HVAC systems. First of all, download McQuay duct sizer from macwork.com if you don't have it yet. The download link will appear at the top of the video. Now let's start the tutorial. There are two methods of duct sizing. The first one is equal friction method and the second one is equal velocity method. In equal friction method use airflow rate and duct friction loss as inputs and in equal velocity method we use airflow rate and air velocity as the inputs if we don't have friction loss we first use the equal velocity method to get duct friction loss value then continue the calculations with the friction loss method. Now how to get air velocity value. The recommended air velocity depends on the noise level permitted in the place. From this table, for example, banks, the recommended air velocity for banks as the controlling factor is noise level is 1500 foot per minute or 7.5 meter per second I made this simple example to solve it this is an air handling unit and this is the main duct these are branches branch ducts and these are air terminals the main duct has a flow rate of 4000 cfm and every diffuser needs 500 CFM so every branch needs 1000 CFM now we have the first needed value which is flow rate the second value is friction loss and I will show you how to get it in McWay duct sizer the most important in this menu is clear button which clears all input and output values in these cells let's try after pressing clear button all these cells will be empty And the units button in which we choose metric units or US units. Metric units are meter per second for air velocity, millimeter for duct size, pascal per meter for head loss, and in US units, CFM for air flow rate, foot per minute for air velocity, inch for duct size and water column per 100 foot for head loss first of all choose the room condition from this drop menu we will choose 50% humidity ratio as it is a recommended condition
for every condition these values are changed but they are constants so we can change their values <coughs> assume this project is for a bank from this table the bank application needs a velocity of 1500 foot per minute or 7.5 meter per second I will use the uh, US units so the air velocity will be 1500 CFM we will use the equal velocity method at the beginning so put check mark on the velocity cell and input 1500 foot per minute the main duct the main duct needs 4000 cfm as flow rate so put check mark on the flow rate cell and enter 4000 now we got the friction loss value which is 0.134 inch water column per 100 foot keep this value as we will use it in the coming calculation The equivalent diameter for the main duct will be 22.1 inch in case it is a round duct and in case it is a rectangular duct the duct has two dimensions height and width you have to unify one dimension I will unify the width and you put the first dimension and the software will calculate the second one if you enter the width the duct sizer will calculate the height and vice versa. I will choose the width to be 22, 22 inches. The height will be 19 inch. And always choose even numbers. Uh, so the nearest even number to 19 is 20. Don't choose 18, but choose the bigger number so as to be to be on the safe side. Now the size of the main duct will be 22 by 20 inches. And write the biggest or the bigger dimension first. Now the sizing of the branch duct. The branch duct needs 1000 CFM as flow rate. And we already calculated the head loss which is 0.134. Put a check mark on the head loss and enter the value. And now enter the value of the flow rate which is 1000 now the equivalent diameter if it will be around duct 13.1 inches and if it will be a rectangular duct it will be 22 by 7 inches we will choose a the nearest even number
all these brands will have the same size and also this part of the main duct as it has the same CFM the same flow rate Now let's calculate the size of the rest of each branch. <clears throat> Enter the friction loss value, this already exists, and the flow rate, which is 500. Now the equivalent diameter is 10.1 inch, and the rectangular duct will be 22 by 4 inches And these parts will be the same. There is an important note you must take into account. The bigger size divided by the smaller size must be less than 4. So, 22 divided by 20 is less than 4. This dimension is okay. 22 divided by 8 equal 2.7, which is less than 4. And this dimension also is okay. 22 divided by 4 is 5.5 which is bigger than 4 and this dimension is not okay so we have to change these dimensions we will choose the nearest even number it will be 6 so 22 divided by 6 is less than 4 so 22 by 6 is the safe size for this part the main duct the flow rate is 3000 and the duct size will be 22 by 15 and the nearest even number is 16 so duct size will be 22 by 16 For this part, the flow rate is 2000. And the duct size will be 22 by 11. And the nearest even number is 12. So the duct size will be 22 by 12. Now we made duct sizing for the project with Mach Way duct sizer. 
It's an easy and simple software. Thanks for your time and don't forget to support us and share this video on social websites. Subscribe the channel and see you soon in the next tutorial.